Marsha Lavake, and I'm the owner of Marsha Lavake's Image Center. This is a specialty salon where we help women find solutions who are frustrated with styling baby fine hair, thinning hair, or even people with no hair at all. Today, we're going to concentrate on talking about wig liners and what are they for? How do you use them? Well, one of the first reasons that people would use a wig liner is if you have hair and you choose to wear a wig over it, the wig liner is going to keep your hair in place. Whether you have short hair or long hair, you need to just comb your hair very flat to your head, make sure that you don't have any styling product in it and just keep it very flat to your head and put the wig liner over it and it will help to keep the hair in place. When you put it on, make sure that it starts right about at your hairline and ends at your hairline and make sure that your ears come out. You don't want to pull the wig liner over your ears. Your ears need to be exposed. The second reason, and probably the most popular, is for women who don't have hair. Sometimes when you put a wig on, the inside of it might be uncomfortable, especially if you're somebody going through chemotherapy. A lot of times when a woman is going through chemotherapy, her skin becomes very sensitive. It might be very dry, just ultra sensitive. And the inside of the wig might feel scratchy. There might be pressure points where it feels like it's, it's really rubbing or poking you. And that's what a wig liner is meant to help uh, diffuse, to give you a comfort level. So these look like, as you can see, it looks sort of like it's a short knee high that you would just wear, <laughs> but it's, um, it's actually wide enough to go over your head. So the way you would do this, I'm gonna take the wig off of my lovely mannequin, put it on, again, behind your hairline, make sure your ears come out Slip the wig over it, and these do come in different colors, although under the wig they're really not going to show, so I don't think it's that big of an issue, but you just put the wig on and you can see that it doesn't even show, so the color of it isn't that important. And that's going to give you the comfort level that you need if you, if you find that it's bothering you on the inside. That isn't the only way they come. They come in several different other fabrics. This one is made out of kind of a fishnet, also very stretchy. And the third type is made out of a cotton, um, cotton material. Now, this one, of course, is going to be a lot warmer. If, when a person loses their hair, oftentimes they are losing heat through the top of their head, and they might feel chilled all the time. So in the wintertime especially, a cotton liner like this might be very comfortable for somebody who's chilled all the time. If you're somebody who's hot, though, then this is going to be too heavy and you want to switch to the first kind that I showed you that just looks like it's hosiery material. There's another kind of wig liner that's called Headline It. This is great if you're the kind of person who's perspiring all the time, whether you have a wig on or not, but the wig is going to be really uh, make you sweaty. This is made out of a special fabric that is going to take the perspiration and keep it away from your scalp so that it's not running down your face. So the way you do this one, there is a double-sided tape here. It's got uh, a uh, protection that you take off so that the tape part of it is exposed. I'm going to take this off of my mannequin again, take the wig. You want to turn the wig inside out. This is the front of the wig and you're going to take the tape part of it and lay it right down across the front of the wig. Not on the hair, but on the cap part of the wig. So that it's sitting, again, just behind the hairline. You put that in place, press it down, and then you're going to turn the wig back right side. And it's not, this liner doesn't go over the whole head. It covers the top part of your head and the sides. It only goes back to about here. It's not going to cover the whole back of your head. But it's wonderful at keeping perspiration from running down your face. Now, this kind of a wig liner, the headline it, can be used for several days 
It depends really on how much you perspire, but you can use it repeatedly. You can't wash them, though. Once you wash it, the tape is gone and it's not going to stay in place anymore. But you can, um, you can use it a number of times. Some, some people can even use it as much as six, seven. I heard one gal who even used it ten times. You can buy them individually in a packet. They also come in a box. And, of course, if you get the whole box of them, they're cheaper. Um, so that's a great one for somebody who's hot all the time. It was actually developed by a woman from Wisconsin who has alopecia. She, her hair will never come back. She developed it for herself. And she actually took it to uh, some people who started using material that was really great for even uh, athletes. And it's been used in the Olympics. They use it under helmets. So it isn't just used as a wig liner. It's actually used under helmets also. Here's another thing for comfort. This one is called Sure Grip. And it, or sometimes they're called Comfy Grips. This looks like a headband. And it's filled with a material that kind of feels like jelly is in here. It's very stretchy. And it has Velcro on the ends. When you put this on, you stick it right behind your hair. And you, and you just attach it in the back. And, it, and the Velcro holds it in place. It won't move. When you put this wig, when you put the wig on over this, not only does it help with pressure sensitive areas, because sometimes where these stays are on the sides, sometimes that presses and it feels uncomfortable. It will help with that, but it also keeps the wig from moving. So this one actually has two purposes. It's to keep the, um, keep the wig in place and also for pressure sensitive areas. And that's called the Sure Grip or a Comfy Grip. Of course, all the things that I've showed you today, you can find them at Marshall LeBake's Image Center. Be sure to watch for more of the videos from me, Marshall LeBake, and my styling tips and techniques for women who struggle with baby fine hair, thinning hair, or no hair at all.